We are on the topic of beauty pageants, and on the line we have a beauty pageant enthusiast. Hello, Zwan. Hello, hi, Cynthia. Hi, I believe that you have a question for our Miss Earth uh, 2012, Devia. Go ahead. Yes, I have a question for Miss Earth Malaysia 2012. My question is that, what is her opinion about mixed pageant girls who will represent Malaysia in international beauty pageant make an impact? rather than other girls who are not mixed. And my second question would be, what, apart from representing Malaysia as a beauty pageant, what else does this girl represent the country? Okay, thank you, Zwan, for your questions. Okay, okay. he asked about um, mixed cultured girls. This is his perception that maybe we have been sending quite a bit of mixed cultured uh, ladies to international pageants. Mm -hmm. Maybe talk about what does ethnicity and beauty have to come into this into this picture, this pageant? Um, actually, uh, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, Malaysia as a country as a whole, we are known for our diverse cultures and traditions, races mm -hmm. and ethnicity as well, right? So I think a mix girl shouldn't really matter that much because um, mm -hmm. she's probably representing all the cultures. Um, she's a mixed person. That means it's unique about Malaysia because we have so many different cultures and every time we send a girl, she is unique in her own way. It doesn't matter whether she's mixed or whether she's not mixed, whether she's pure Chinese, Indian or uh, Malay or it can be anything, you know. As long as she has the qualities that I told you last time, mm -hmm. beauty and intelligence mostly because I think that's how a person should be judged despite what um, race or culture they are from. Mm. And maybe I could maybe further add on to Swan's question. Perhaps I think what he meant is what really are the things that the judges are looking for to make it to the top five, to make it to the top ten. Beauty is just one of the, you said, intelligence. But what, what is the X factor? What made you win this Earth Malaysia? What did you think was your, your X factor for you? Well, for me, I think um, would be my confidence. Mm -hmm. and also um, how I mix around with people because I, I believe that I am very relatable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that are the two qualities that are very, very important because if you don't have self-confidence, I don't think you can go very far. You can't really um, do anything that you want to do without your confidence in the first place mm -hmm. to start with. Okay. If you win this pageant, what is the next step, the international pageant? Because I believe um, you, we see a lot of past pageant winners, they are in, mostly involved in commercials, they are involved in events, they are brand ambassadors, they, they, they are brand, uh, they are ambassadors, goodwill ambassadors for charities, but mm -hmm. for yourself personally, what do you aspire to be? What are your plans? Well, um, after my international pageant, it doesn't matter um, despite whether I win or not, um, I'm actually looking forward to um, start my own project when mm -hmm. I come back to Malaysia, uh, a YouTube video project okay. um, on energy conservation and environmental activities. And I would also like to take the opportunity um, or this title to promote energy conservation and environmental knowledge through education, probably to teach in schools, in um, kindergartens or in homes because I think that um, instilling environmental knowledge at a very young age um, will actually you know improve the younger generation the upcoming younger generation mm -hmm. to create an awareness early on yes at a very young age and what would you say is the biggest thing biggest takeaway from the many pages that you have participated what would be the best experience so far for you the what best experience means? would be uh, the girls mm -hmm. that I always um, see or meet because these girls are from different states, they are of different backgrounds, um, so far in the local pageants. And the same goes to when I go to the international pageant because I will meet so many different girls and that would be a wider scope of um, you know society and people. And I would learn about their backgrounds and their lifestyles and probably their, maybe one or two of their Culture, language. Right. Yes, and, you know, probably can keep in touch and it also widen my knowledge, mm -hmm. confidence level, 
what I want to say about sometimes it's cat fights and um, not so pleasant happenings in pageants. Is it true or is this part of it? <laughs> it is a little true, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never experienced it so far, mm-hmm. but I've actually received um, like um, advice and warnings so to say, mm-hmm. that, you know, lock your bags and take care of your things. Lock your bags? Why? Um, apparently, these girls might take your things or do something to them, nasty mm-hmm. things. Okay. <laughs> All right. And who do you look up to personally? Um, who, who, I mean, you mentioned previously uh, before the show about your mother that inspired you about you to participate in this mm-hmm. region. But besides that, who are, you, who are some of the people that you think you could would aspire to be would take would walk in their footsteps well I think um, it should be it would be the previous uh, pageant winners who also have done their part in society like um, they've actually um, participated in um, campaigns mm-hmm. or involved themselves in non-governmental organizations to do good things you know um, for example, Aishwarya Rai mm. or Shushmita Sen, who are actually actively involved in non-governmental organizations to help out in, um, in volunteering activities. I think they are the real 